just uh, let me just ask um, Li Fang. You wrote a piece. Donald Trump recruits corporate lobbyists to select his future administration. Can you explain who he has recruited? Well, Governor Chris Christie, who played a big role in helping Donald Trump win the Republican primaries, is leading the transition effort. And if you look closely at the transition effort— And just completely... to say, of course, Chris Christie's two top aides were just criminally convicted on all counts around Bridgegate, the closing of the George Washington Bridge, to retaliate against a Democratic mayor, the mayor of Fort Lee, for not endorsing uh, Chris Christie for governor. Yeah, I should add that the two reporters who helped break that story were just laid off last week, talking about the uh, uh, the complete destruction of, 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 of hard reporting in this country. But um, looking at the transition effort, Donald Trump constructed a very convenient, a very seductive um, political image, uh, spending the last two years promising that he would reject lobbyist donations, that he would reject the support of super PACs, that he would drain the swamp and take on the political establishment. I mean, he said that from the very beginning in his closing ad that ran uh, last weekend. He promised in that ad that his main goal would to be to take on the political establishment and fight lobbyists. But if you look at his transition team, um, it's a massive effort run completely by corporate lobbyists. Um, these are folks that represent the pharmaceutical industry, that represent Walt Disney, the energy advisor who's setting the uh, Donald Trump um, energy policy and helping him um, select his appointees for the EPA and other agencies is a Koch Industries lobbyist. Uh, these are folks that are deeply ingrained in the Washington establishment. They've been having weekly meetings at the law firm Baker Hostletter. Uh, they've had regular meetings with the Financial Services Roundtable, which is the, which is the trade association that represents J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and other large banks. Um, there's a, a lot of evidence to suggest that rather than drain the political swamp in Washington, Donald Trump is perfectly merging into the kind of orthodox Republican campaigns um, and political power establishment uh, that have defined the Republican Party for decades. We're going to break and then come back to this discussion. Uh, that's Lee Fung of The Intercept, and we'll link to that piece he wrote. Um, uh, we are also talking to Nicole Hannah Jones of New York Times Magazine, Jose Antonio Vargas, Define American, Linda Sarsour of Empower, and John Nichols of The Nation.